This show is often what you don't expect. Okay, you're like, it's not even what I expect. Hello. And welcome to the American Bankers Association Fall Meeting. insanely fun was a woman who went to uh, her local con as Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians this magnificently built costume there's a trick though she was in a furry con <laughs> and she's walking up to the first and saying oh you look so warm is that lovely Tape measure and checking them out. And they were playing it up, okay? I mean, you can imagine. Was, I would never have thought to put that character in that setting. But in reality, you take that character, you take that setting, and step back with a camera. That's the sort of stuff I really, really enjoy seeing, okay? You guys make this con fun out there every day. That's where you applaud yourselves. Come on. I want to thank everyone who's made this show possible. I'm going to be embarrassing them by name later in the show. That's also a place where you applaud, right? Are you ready for some awesome costumes? Did you bring the awesome costumes? Okay, cool. A couple of them showed up. Entry number one in the journeyman category. Wait for it. 
our next novice entry, number three, is beyond time. Time flows without pause. In a world where we no longer exist, the future is about to change. Sarah, truth still survives, but only you remember.
entry number six. Again, another novels. See what I mean? This is really cool. Destiny is never left to chance. His body stolen and his heart consumed by darkness. Terra's mind searches for what was once his. Through his journey, he's found an area, a detour, if you will, <laughs> where he hopes something, anything, can be found. The only thing keeping him going is one notion, that his destiny is never left to chance. Some of that temper of yours. I do not usually eat sweets. No wonder you're always moping around. Fairy Tower keeps me whistling no matter how hard I'm going. Do these sweets of yours serve as emergency rations? Any moment I'm not eating sugar is an emergency, whispers. <laughs> ah, yes, very sweet. In emergencies, we talk out sometimes eat a similar tasting fruit, but it's even sweeter than this candied confection. Sweeter than candy? Well, what's it called? Where can I get it? You gotta tell me, whispers. Are you that interested in our culture? Oh, or, yeah, of course. Absolutely obsessed. In fact, so that food of yours, where can I find it? You're standing below a tree right now. What? A candy tree? Huh. Now I just need to climb my way. Wait, up there? If you refer to the single, solitary tree at the very top of this cliff, then yes. Well, crap. What are you doing, Man Spawn? You know you can't get down again. I won't help you if you get stuck. You'll have to stay up there for the rest of your days. Gods, take this half witty stuck again. <laughs> Get in the journeyman category. 
Entry number nine. Princess Auska. A world destroyed by pollution, kingdoms on the verge of war, toxic jungle threatening humanity. When Princess Nausicaa explores the deadly jungle in the hopes of finding a way for humans and insects to coexist, only she will save them. novices again in future years. Right, guys? Okay. And they grow to become journeymen. Journeyman number 11. Elspeth's sons. For those magic gathering lovers out there, <laughs> she's back.
I love my job. It's so fun up here. You should get out of here. Why not? But to be our costumes, it would probably be great up here. Put together some acts. What's the worst that could happen? You make me look bad. Really doesn't take much. Entry number 14 in the novice category. Ladies and gentlemen, Championship Rhythm. <laughs> guy who doesn't follow enemy that well. So, there's a thing about pronunciation of words I don't know. I mess it up. Come on, man. Okay? With that warning. Entry number 15 in the novice category. The eight-tailed Jinchuriki. Killer me. era of China in the eighth installment of Coel's Dynasty Warriors. Please welcome to the stage the precocious strategist, Zhang Wei. Tonight, I was entered a cue list of all the acts, and I'm thinking, okay, this one has a reference to flying swords. Flying swords. I'm on stage with flying swords. Hey guys, do I need a Kevlar tux? Do they, do they make those? Please? The flying swords were canceled. Together here, fulfilling your dream, trying not to get you killed, 
it really took us for to your training, but yet here we are. You know, Lisa, it's great. Now people can get all the food, respect, and vengeance. <laughs> what can I ask for? Uh, right. Speaking of, don't you think we should let that go? Let it go? Let it go? You can't hold it back anymore. Let it go? Let it go? See, I can't hold it back anymore either. You know, Lisa, that's probably fine. I mean, tighten some of trigger. And speaking of triggers, how are you more fully am I doing? Don't even talk to me about that trip. Okay, then. Lisa, I can't take it anymore. I've been underneath his boot since the day I met him. Figuratively and literally. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Next time I transform, I'm just going to be like, I can't see you hating from all the way up here. <laughs> well, haven't you done anything to piss him off recently? Well, there might have been one thing. Mm -hmm. You know how we're fighting a female titan? I may have removed his potential marriage. But that doesn't mean I deserve corporal punishment all the time. I mean, come on! Well, you have been quite short with him recently. Okay, that's not what I meant to know it. But he is pretty short. Yes, he is. <laughs> well, besides, we don't have time for this right now, okay? We need to go to our survey corporal meeting that we're late for, okay? We must be swift and maneuver again. Survey course with all the force of humanity. Survey course with all the strength of our fallen comrades. Survey course mysterious as Titan's anatomy. <laughs> My feelings. And when you're being overly dramatic. You don't even know me. Come on, Lily. 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 Come on, Peter, okay. <laughs> uh, there's apparently a question out there. Well, and now, get ready for double trouble. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Jesse James asks, what does the Del Fox say? We might not have stolen Pikachu, but we did steal this. The boss doesn't want a Pokedex, you idiot! He wants Pokemon! What is that? Delphox ain't fire, second Pokemon. Delphox? I've never heard of that Pokemon before. Come to think of it, I've never heard of Delphox, period. I wonder what it sounds like. <laughs> what does the Delphox say? Glue goes glue, sort of goes fur, with your mind goes mind and sort of Deep it goes deep, toxic growth goes croak. And the bar free goes free. Muck says muck, and mew says mew. And the cider goes sigh, yi, yi. There's one sound that no one knows. What does the Dalfox say? <laughs> Fluffy tail, furry ears, psychic type, and fire too. Dark gray feet, three fingers. You sit there and you linger. You have a wand and do magic, <laughs> like a giant fox wizard. But if you catch.
years since Pokemon been on the air? <laughs> have any of you ever been to a cosplay that didn't have a Pokemon act in it? Is that legal? <laughs> Could we do that if we wanted to? In the journeyman category, entry number 19. The Knights of Gwyn. Prepare to die. They miss me, they miss the lights. I'm good. <laughs> I got the novice category.
be. <laughs> So if you see one otaku in your house, there are probably 20 running around on the wall. Is that what you're going to tell me? Oh my god, this hotel will never be the same. Although that's been true for a while. Okay, I'm not going to have nightmares about that. Another entry 22, Dying Dream. The kingdom of Prosper has been attacked by the kingdom of Durs. As you've heard. <laughs> now it's up to Jade Harley to protect what she can of Prosper before the enemies can destroy her home.
the novice wants to say, I'll put a spell on you. Entry 25. Here, to grace us with her presence is the beautiful, talented, clever, powerful, stunning, awe-inspiring, witch of Calibri. And no, I, I didn't say that because she tried to turn me into a tub. I'm just stating facts here, right? Honest. Yeah, okay. Blue. 
I'm in red. Stop. What is your name? I am Medusa, the Gorgon. What is the asking philosophy of the lady Swallow? Before or after I've stabbed out of the air. What? I heard her not. years old now. How many of you are 40 years old now? Maybe we can crunch a couple of you together. Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our entries. That does not conclude our evening. Faith has sent us some AMVs to entertain you. While our judges go off and try to figure out how to judge this. We've got some wonderful entries tonight. They will not be here in the room. Aww. But we'll, we'll get it back later. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do this. We're going to have the AMVs. We'll announce the winners. And then I think there's a party outside somewhere. Okay, so think about that. Judges, thank you and good luck. I'll see you backstage. Faye, let her rip. Twenty minutes later, we have a winner. Which is actually a lie. We have a whole bunch of winners. Starting with me, I survived another cosplay. How many of you are figuring out how to fix that next year? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Flying swords. <laughs> I just kept our talks. Okay, I'll just expense that back to the con. Okay, you've met our contestants. They made the show happen. They made it real. You made it fun. But the people who actually did it. I want to start with our judges. Michael Anderson, Anna Shirley, Heather Luca, Alexandra Howe, Holly Spilker, and Jess Lipsius. And like I said, mispronouncing names is my thing. <laughs> Judging this kind of show is really hard because it's not just apples to oranges, it's apples to cows. <laughs> and the cows are extremely well dressed. We have our tech staff. We're now going to do something spectacular with the lights that will probably blind me. They made all of this possible, or at least visible. <laughs> and I need to thank Dave Benhart. Dave is our fearless leader. I want to thank Nate Wilson Brady who makes the backstage possible. I want to thank Thea Hildebrand, who I can't believe is that old now. John Cunnings. He's in the car. And of course, get out of here, Michael the Mouse came. in a tail next year. Wow, he ran away. <laughs> it's like he's afraid of me or something. Okay, so do we have any winners? I can't you out there. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first winner is the winner in our young fan division. Kingdom Hearts. Of 
Judge's Choice Awards. The first one goes to entry number 13. Sakura Miku and Rin. Sorry, Rachel Tangan and Meili. Next judge's choice was Elspeth Sun, Elspeth Sun's champion in the journeyman category, starring Thao Dong. Next was the entry that taught me things about our world. The complicated ecosystem that answers the question, what does the Delphox say? Our next judge's choice goes all the way back to entry number one. All eyes are in Christina Poppy. I love how the winners seem surprised, and we're really not, because these guys were amazing. Speaking of which, next Judge's Choice Award goes to Neil Cook as the rapping killer bee. But in part because he didn't kill me with that sword. <laughs> I'm fond of that, okay? I got a bias here. Judge's Choice, entry number six. Destiny is Never Left a Chance, starring Eric Dunn. Award is for best in the novice category. It was a little bit of competition for this one tonight, wasn't there? Yeah. It goes to Kyle Homa as Championship Ribbon. Awesome. Thank you, Kyle. class, we are pleased to award Josie Sides for Princess Nausicaa. <sighs> Best to the Masters class, the entry that made me feel really, really old. Joe O'Hanley, Sarah Collins, Rob Pettit, Megan Mosey, Kristen, Christian Eckert in the quest for the Holy Grail. <laughs> We're giving them coconuts as awards, right? <laughs> Who's the dummy writing this show, anyway? <laughs> okay, now, as much as I love the performances and what happens when an actor gets out here unsure how the act's gonna go, and they turn and they hear you folks applaud, and suddenly, they're rich, taller, <laughs> and 14 pounds per year. I love, I love that. You guys really help set the energy that makes the show fantastic, but there's also the technical aspect. These costumes that are put together with incredible care, incredible thought, and a great deal of skill. So we give a special workmanship award every year, and this year it goes quite properly 
to garden it up with Chelsea Peterson. I always tell people I get the best seat in the house, with all due respect to our sponsors. Because I get to be up here, I get to see these costumes. They go, wow, I, that, that's, that looks like it's made of plywood. How do you move that well with all that weight on you? It's just the, the skill these guys put together. It's always, never ceases to amaze me. Uh, oh yeah, so we did the workmanship. There's also the performance end. So what do you think got the best performance? If I were to say Madison Golden, Eric Oman, uh, Hildonia Ga Dong, in Future Stars. Thank you all. Okay, I have an issue with the Best in Show Award, our final award, the grandest award of the night. I don't doubt that they earned it, but they call themselves journeymen. I think it's time they graduated. Now, I'm not one of the judges, which is why they get to have all the fun. But I think it's time that Ray Fuller and Patrick Poshoska from Knights of Quinn level up.